Is one of these mirrors cheap and one expensive? They're both cheap. Like, no, everything in this room, including us, is cheap. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Except a few things. I'm here. priceless. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Beauty Break. Today, what are you doing? All I, the just time. Like, I always let the spirit move me. You I know it's this. a weird Back spirit. Off. Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty Break. Today we're gonna try out a bunch of expensive products, which we're very not used to. What? And a bunch of cheap products, which we're super used to. What? I don't really know what any of them are because our lovely producer Bridget bought them. But now we're gonna compare them and put them on our face. One side for each. What she said. Let's, Let's go. Begin. So, okay, Lily, I have a question for you. What's the most expensive thing you buy on the reg? I bet I could guess. My perfume. Oh, it hasn't been a regular thing yet because it hasn't run you out. You can't even have, tell. You're not allowed. I have to. a new scent, and I've been sworn to secrecy. Basically, our friend Tatiana had this really nice perfume, and it was from Paris. I continually, continually have asked her for like years what it was, and she wouldn't tell me. And then finally, she you broke wore down, her down. And now I have it, and it's been the best decision of my life. And it's pricey. It's three hundred bottle, uh, three hundred for a bottle. Damn, but it's but it's like, a large bottle too. You smell too. so good. I Is can smell mascara? Lily everywhere. What's the cheapest thing you use? Like my foundation, I just use Maybelline Fit Me. That's I like, love Maybelline. I think like eleven dollars, maybe. That's a great price. And I've used like fancier um, foundations. Uh -huh. Not usually been a huge fan. Uh, most expensive stuff I buy is probably all like skincare based. Any of like the serums or any of that stuff, sunscreens. I like to spend a lot of money on. As far as actual makeup, though, I'm very into mixing high low. Like I just want to use what's good and what's gonna freaking stay on my face. Maybe like my foundation, I use Makeup Forever. Oh, I used to use and that. And I love it. It's like probably 40 bucks. Cheapest though, Maybelline mascara. I love Maybelline, that's what I've always used, uh -huh. but then Tarte sent me some of theirs. Oh, Tarte, And wait. I honestly was just using it because I ran out of the other one, but now I've been using it ever since, it's great. Wait, that's what I have on right now, I forgot. I have Maybelline at home and Tarte at work. It's like that purple one with the pink top. Uh huh. And Tarte's actually really well priced though. Is it L for ELF? Eyes, lips, and face. You didn't know that? And you call yourself a booty guru. <laughs> Yeah, not really. Um, even, that just blew my it mind. I said it on the box, by the way. I don't own any. I, I, you haven't been elfing it up. Nope. That nope. is such a missed opportunity. I'm gonna sense this is the expensive one because it's like cool. what? What? Elizabeth are Arden. They, That's are like, they alive? I feel like we just bought like bugs that I'm going. Okay, so what is going on? That so, says it's a hydrating serum. This is our hydrating. So I'm assuming this is something similar. It looks like they're ceramide, ceramide capsules. Oh, it's a serum. We love serums now. Actually, Jocelyn got me into skincare. We have a new show called Swapped. I don't know if it's new because I don't know when this episode's going up, but it's already out. You should go watch it. Mm -hmm. Description, there's a link. Just do it. Okay, so the Elizabeth Arden serum, but it comes in these weird little capsules, like a pill kind of. Uh, $98. Damn. That's expensive. And the e.l.f. version is $12, which for e.l.f. is actually expensive because some of their stuff costs like Super $1. Cheap. Okay. So here's the thing. As you know, how has serum changed your life? Guys, I didn't, but I was like, skincare, what did they, did they all- Facial gross. That Kiehl's custom serum we did on Beauty Trippin'. Go watch that episode too. Your scene is super dry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh Correct. my gosh. Um, most amazing thing ever. I'll put it on at night when I have some like fine lines coming through when I'm super dehydrated. Wake up in the morning, they are gone. Gone. So, and it really helps your makeup serums. go on smoother, honestly. You just like massage it in. Okay. Are you just putting it everywhere? Yeah, so you just like massage it into your face and your neck. And it gives you like a good base before your makeup. I'm putting it on my eyelid too, which you're probably not supposed to do. Come for me, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. I'm feeling vaguely British. Do you put the serum everywhere? I put it everywhere. I mean, normally I have like no makeup on and I put this on like a few times a day. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna next do the other side of our face, the rich side. With these, it looks like a mini little coin purse, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> More like a, a really long nipple or something. Okay, you keep look it in look a look cool. Look it, look it, look it. See, it's like a Ooh. gusher. It's I'm really gonna... actually very sad. Ooh, Ooh I will. Oh, like... this feels very. Does it feel rich? Oil? Oh my god. I like this. <laughs> I love oil. I like the ninety-eight dollar. Do you think oh Meghan my... Markle uses this on her face? I don't face? think this is too much. Like she probably uses this on her dog's face. <laughs> That's how much money she has now. Also, this is care. great for traveling. You could just put like four of these in your pocket when you're gone for four days and call it a day. Wouldn't put it in your pocket. You might. How many servings are in this? This is a <laughs> lot of servings. Ninety capsules. So if that is that's really not expensive then, because if what? it's a dollar almost. Per? It's a 45 day serving, because you use two a day. One morning, one night. Oh, you do two a days. You should, that's what the directions say. Bonjour. 
Okay, this Giorgio Armani uh, foundation cost two hundred dollars. Let's let us do this episode. <laughs> what? This feels too expensive and too nice for us. This is the L'Oreal Paris. It's, it's from. It's from France. It's from France. <laughs> so L'Oreal Paris uh, True Match Lumi Glotion. Get it? Glow lotion. Cuteness. So um, this is what we're gonna try for the cheap side, and this is. $12. Sounds about right. Which like when I'm in CVS and looking at this stuff, I think $12 is kind of expensive. I couldn't imagine spending $200 on. It's not even foundation. It is a, like a, a moisturizer cream. with I wonder cream. how you even apply this because I've never seen anything like this before. Wait, I think we start with the cheap. Okay, let's, yeah, let's start with what we know. <laughs> Okay, it, uh, it's yeah. very sheer. Yeah, I don't feel like it did put any color. It's okay, wait, I already <sighs> wasted like $40 on the side of this What are you doing? I took the lid off and it like came tumbling out. I don't want any to go to waste. There's no directions. There's literally no information well, on this because I think bottle. people that can afford this just know. <laughs> They're like, oh, honey. Okay, so <laughs> dot, spot, and go. Or oh, wow. It's working. It's just the wrong color. <laughs> uh, Supreme Glow Reviving Tinted Cream. That's a lot of adjectives. <laughs> Honestly, this, this is not really working for me very well. I think it's I feel like absorbing. it's not blending. I have too much oil. Yeah, on that. My face. I think we started with the serums and it kind of prevented it from soaking in. But like, I feel like this side of my face looks pretty good. It's just it's still so oily. Like the my cheap, fingers are just shiny. The cheap side has a lot more pores. Absolutely. I mean, I hate pores. All right, what's next, the Lils? Don't touch it with your, so it's like, are your fingers clean? Yeah. It has, it's a Tom Ford satchel. Look at this satch. It's made out of this suede. Looks this looks like it's probably fancier. <laughs> it's like, this is fancier than like our apartment. Wow, it's heavy. It's like a clutch. Whoops. Oh, this is just oh. gorgeous. Don't you feel like Princess Ariel's inside of this and she's gonna come out? <laughs> like, I feel like this is her, her clam. <laughs> $110. So this is a Tom Ford Soleil Contouring Compact. So it's bronzer, highlighter, and blush. And we have the same over here from Maybelline. Love. And this is only $14. <laughs> so quite the difference. Uh, packaging alone, I think, is like a $50 difference. So wouldn't that be crazy if all of the makeup was pretty much the same and it's just they're putting in like gold little things? I would actually be super curious to know what the price of this makeup would be without the packaging. Just out of just curiosity. Just order like product only, no. Wow, okay, so should we do our rich side or? Oh no, we always start with side. the cheap side. Start with what you know. Okay, great. Literally, that just made me like red. Oh, like, weird! As it's like if mixing I just with your like, I feel like it, it's as if I'm like accidentally putting using the blush, blush on. but you're not. You're so the blush must be really red. <laughs> oh, rosy cheeks. Very clowny. <laughs> well, now it just really oh, looks. It, it doesn't. I, you look like a grandma, like <laughs> like a cute grandma, you know? No. <laughs> I'm not really picky with makeup, but honestly, I don't like any of this. Isn't it weird how you like the richer stuff better? <laughs> so, Isn't so that uncanny. Weird? Isn't that weird? <laughs> but like, I don't use super expensive, I guess I've been using a Tarte highlighter. See, those are, I feel like, it is I good. like I middle of the road. Yeah. That's what I go for normally. Well, this just seems like, unless you have so much money that you don't know what to do with it, I would, it's excessive. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, um, so let's try the I'm ready for a night on the town. <laughs> this is awful. So I'm gonna start using the rich side. I got my bronzer. Oh, already a lot more subtle. Okay. This, All right. this wins, it's so weird. Being rich is really awesome. <laughs> My only complaint, which like, I shouldn't be, is I don't like that they're all in the same thing because I feel like it's hard to just yeah, like, but also we have single in on what product you want to use. What do you want to bet these are some cheap brushes? Maybe well, I don't think brushes. H Fun sounds super legit, but um, I'm sure you guys are great. And if you want to send us more, we always ruin brushes, so we could always use It's almost too subtle. Yeah, you can barely see I need see a, it. a darker one to contour my chin out. When have we ever actually been interested in makeup? Because this is actually fun <laughs> to see. Like, Give us expensive, nice things. We're like, ooh, what's this? First of all, it's very clear this side looks better because I don't know what the hell is going on with that bronzer because it is red and so are my cheeks. So it just did not help. <laughs> just exacerbated the problem. But I think in comparison to my normal makeup, actually this does look pretty nice. It looks very airbrushed and clean. It does. It doesn't look like I contoured, but I feel like it does look, I like how it looks. Yeah. It's better than not wearing makeup. These products are not the colors I would choose, which yes. makes it hard. But like, I have no pores over here. This is crazy. I think that that was the serum. It's pretty insane. Okay, what's next? Okay, oh my God. This is a tool for the mascara. Ooh, Hourglass, that's a nice brand. Damn. Is that a quill? Great <laughs> shit. 
So the mascara itself, just the mascara in this bottle is $36. What is this? 78. Oh my goodness. That's what you put it on with? This, am I beauty guru guruing right? You're guruing. This is the wand we're gonna use, but it is metal. It looks like it's the end of a screen. I've never seen this. Is it pure gold? Is it real gold? It's heavy. Like, it is heavy. This is weird. Th but you could reuse this, which I actually like. Yeah, you could use it even the cheap one. Oh! Huh. And then, for our less expensive <laughs> version, we have CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. And this probably cost what? Like, this was nine bucks. But that's honestly a lot of the time I would use CoverGirl mascara, and it's great. So it also <laughs> forces your hair to come out of the holes and grow faster. <laughs> You should use that on your head, sound guy. Speaking of sound guy, you guys know he has an amazing narrative on this show. We would love to wax his whole body. In order to make that happen, we need you guys, or no, that's not that one. That's him becoming your drag queen. I've got two challenges. We have two yeah, challenges. There's two things right on the table for yeah. sound guy right now. Basically, what we need you to do is go watch the, you don't even have to watch it. Just go, go to the drag it. queen video and just like it. That's all you have to do. Really, if you don't want to watch it, I think you should because it's funny, but like, all you have to do is like it. 150,000 likes, sound guy will be a drag queen. Oh wow, Ooh. that's cool. Ooh. Wait, it's pretty awesome. That, like you can see it painting on. Lil, that's rad. I wish that the wand was like a little smaller, if it wasn't as long. Isn't it weird how like, just we love all the rich things. <laughs> expensive, not expensive. I'm curious to see what you think, because I like it. I should have just done it once. It's here, for a much, much more natural. Way. I think you couldn't get like a. But it is interesting, like, I guess there's a lot on here, because when you put it on, it looked like it. You just have way thicker eyelashes than I do. I have way thicker hair everywhere. You got the close up. Look at the comparison. The base of these are so much darker than that because you were able to get it further down. Look like it's you're gonna kill insane. someone with your eyes. <laughs> we Wait, thought is that called looked a cool. lobster? What word is that? That says Christian Louis Vuitton. But oh. close. <laughs> Is this a necklace? Um, is that a bullet? Like, Do we like get a Christmas ornament? What the heck is that? You're a desert. Oh look! <laughs> oh, it, it came with the satch. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. It's like a sock. <laughs> it's like an elf ween sock. How much is this? One? How much what is this bullet? Ninety dollars. Shut up. See again, I think you're paying for this necklace, not for the lip stuff. Um, this is <laughs> NYX. I love NYX. So much, probably one of my favorite brands. How much? Um, how much was this? Four dollars. So I close. love this brand. These are going to be a tight. This is going to be a tight. So one. wait, we have to do cheap first. Yeah, I was just curious how to open this even. It's downhill. We can't open. This. I got it. Oh, ooh, wow. What if I just like. Okay, so the Nyx, I'm going to go ahead and put on my right <laughs> side. Face. The literally tiny tiniest lips. lips of all time. <laughs> How'd it go? Feels good. It feels very Excuse silky me. and smooth. Here, let hold, me hold, hold on to- Don't drop This it. is so heavy. Right off the bat, this is very sticky. That's what she said. <clears throat> All right, ooh, look, ooh, mm, what a vixen. Mm. Here we go with the Christian Louboutin lip creamy silky thing. Uh, okay. It's like basically translucent. It feels good though going on. It is like not very It's very opaque, sheer. Yeah. Oh, you look so pretty. You look like Nikki Tutorials or something. I will take it. All right, uh, we have our one final last item. I don't know what this is. Well, <laughs> they're oil blotting sheets because we're oily from putting all the serum on. I typically use a toilet seat cover, which is free. $0. Yeah, didn't know that there was expensive versions of this, gonna be honest. Uh, it's Chanel. It comes Stop. in a velvet satchel. These satchels. This all together was 36. I think the paper. This was probably like 25, and yeah. then these were maybe 10. These are cleansing care natural premium oil blotting tissues. These cost five dollars. But again, I could never even bring myself to buy these because I would just use a toilet seat cover. So that feels more like tissue paper. Tissue paper. This feels Ooh. more like it would be like, like you know seaweed what? From Do you know sushi. what? No, no. A little bit. Yeah. Do you know what it reminds me of? Those Listerine things that you put on your tongue. Yeah, like this you'd put like in your mouth. Like this would dissolve. I wonder if you put it in your mouth and see if it disintegrates. I don't think that's a good idea. After. I'll, I'll do it. Because then it'll be a better idea. Okay, well, I'm going to do my cheap side first. Okay. Do you want to start cheap? Yeah, give me a cheapie. I think you just go like this and you just... Uh-oh. Is my makeup coming off? Probably. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I'm much more oily than I would... I think all my makeup's coming off. So. All right, I'm gonna grab one of these little sheets. What side goodness. do you do? Do you think it matters? Um, I like think the non-Chanel yeah. side, because you want to show the Chanel. Side. Okay. 
Oh. Oh, oh, this is a lot better. I feel like I should use it on so the other side of my I face. also, you can't tell, like this one at least you can see where you've like used it. Oh, unless no, did I just use can. the entire thing? Yeah, look, that's all that's left on mine is that little that space. That feels wrong. But these are like way like, more. Give me another one, I'm another $2. on the other side of my face. And I feel like this is not taking off the makeup. This takes everything off, not just the oil. Wow, what a journey. I just feel like we learned a lot and we experienced a lot and I just am so proud of us. I am too that we sort of even know what to call some of these products. Yeah. But on the real, Lil and I don't use any of these because it is like the major extremes of like so, so expensive and so, so cheap. So we're curious to know from you guys, like what do you actually use? Like what are the best drugstore brands? Yeah. I honestly do buy most of my makeup yeah. at like CVS and Target. I feel like Target has some like middle of the road ones too. Mm -hmm. Like they have those fancy counters that like light up a little more, you know? Exactly. But um, let us know your favorite brands in the comments below and if we can compare them or do like a full face of all of them. On Basically, foundation. we're also just getting in touch with our makeup roots because it seems like sometimes we maybe are starting to kind of get. We sort of sound like know. we know what we're doing, you guys. Let us know if we're wrong. Maybe, or don't, just lie to us. Anyway, subscribe to the channel because that'd be really nice and we're here all the time. There's other shows too and now the episode's over. Bye. Bye. For even more Clever Style, click right over here because we have a new episode of our show Swapped where Ashley I from The Bachelor Nation and Jared, you all know, have switched lives and guys, it gets a little strange.